Um, yeah, see you on the flip side. Uh, restream is at Speed Gaming 2. Adcom Andy Eyes. Twitch.tv slash Speed Gaming 2. Well, hello there. Uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. Uh, welcome to A Link to the Past League yeah, Randomizer Season 4. We've got spe Spoiler Key Sanity. Uh, we've got Andy. Uh, obscure life form part three against uh, noble foxes. Uh, we got me, Nelson Alex Nine Two, and uh, Swedish Arctic Fox on commentary. How are you doing, Fox? Yeah, I'm great, and I'm really hyped about this uh, game. It's going to be really interesting to see uh, how Obscure is going to tackle Ander here. Uh, we know the skills are are really great from both runners, and I'm, I guess it could all de depend on how good our uh, pilots are going to do today. Yeah, so uh, Andy and Obscure Lifeform here, we uh, do have two um, pilots here that will tell our runners where to go and find their progression items. We got Futon for Andy, and we got Nobly for Obscure Lifeform. Yeah, and we are still soon to be off here. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, what are you waiting about this game? What do you think? No, I think it's will be coming down to execution battle between these between these two. Uh, good runners, Andy. Everybody knows Andy. Uh, Obscure Lifeform had a, an amazing main tournament run uh, not that long ago. So, uh, I mean, it's going to come down to the uh, spoilers, uh, the uh, pilots. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and uh, of course. Uh... It's gonna be really interesting to see how this if they're gonna have the same start here. Uh, that can also be uh, crucial to see who's gonna be ahead uh, in the start. So uh, based on the points here, Noble Foxes are is still undefeated here. They're having an amazing run so far. I think they're like one of the biggest, uh, actually one of the biggest surprises here in league in, in the invitational league so far if i can say it myself uh part three not that far behind uh so uh let's see if part three can take down noble foxes for the first time this season yeah it's gonna be the pug versus the fish um let's see how they do they should be off any minute now I do also want to say that we will not have an interview between these two when they're done. We have a double header, so when this race goes offline, well, when these two are done, we will have a little bit, bit of a waiting point, and then we will have Nobly racing for Noble Foxes, and we will have Obscure being his pilot. Uh, Futon will continue being a pilot, but we'll have to switch out Andy for Solsky. Yeah, we don't want to miss that. A double header. Uh, so it's going to be like a nice two and a half hour uh, of gameplay here. Yeah, so the, the, the plan here is to have an, as nice uh, of a run here. A uh, quick run, hopefully. Uh, not, not having a long seed because there, there could be a seed bleed for the uh, pilots here. I think that's the worst case scenario. Yeah, that's very true. Ah, we're off. So we're starting out by going to Link's house, and this will give our um, spoilers a few seconds to uh, get a start of check browsing through the uh, spoiler logs. Uh, they do have the spoiler logs, so they will go through them. Uh, we will see how the uh, this turns out. We will see Andy go up here, gives some time to uh, Futon, and Obscure will go for the 50-50 uh, bomb drop here from the bushes. Yeah, fun to see uh, the diversion already, and then just getting some rupees there from the tree pull. It's not the big bad rupee drop, but uh, at least we're getting some rupees. And getting some nice bombs from uh, the uncle as well, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that's just what Andy needed, and uh, let's see if he's gonna start Sank here. Uh, this looks like a Sank start, and every. A free piece of heart, you would never say no to that in uh, Key Sanity, in, in Spoiler at least. Uh, picking up some hearts is actually good. Yeah, I think our pilots are not giving our runners uh, that much uh, health and safety uh, this run, uh, if they're not on the way, I guess. 
Yeah, but the thing is, uh, we got, actually have a castle small key, tower small key here. So, I mean, it could mean that we need to go and do Aghanim in this seed, but it could also mean that we only need to go and grab that uh, second chest in Aga Tower. But uh, picking up a small key to castle tower is never a great feeling. Yeah. Oh, we got the mirror in the woods. Oh, that's a pretty nice art. Uh, we pick up a small key to Skullwoods and a bottle with green potion. Yeah, talking about safety is a nice thing to have early on. No, no, especially since uh, Obscure Life Form here going back, uh, I assume there's an important item on uh, Sick Kid. Yeah, let's see what it is. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, you, you, one would say that the hammer is kind of important in this game. Could be, could be. And and they're also starting with the well here in Kak. Yeah, you definitely want to grab that uh, hammer as soon as possible. It's your first item. Uh, well, your first tool to kill enemies with. There's a big key to ice spells, so I assume there's some on and cane of Mario, so that's the starter kit right there. Oh, and pod, pod big. Hello, Gamma Joe. So this is going to be interesting to see uh, how many items, like how many chests will they open that they don't need to do. Uh, I think that's always fun to see in a game mode like this. Yeah, we have some uh, questions in chat also uh, about our uh, crystal and pendant layout. Uh, we don't know that yet because uh, it's uh, keys. Uh, we have like random keys as well, so we don't know until we find the maps for it or have defeated a dungeon, of course. I mean, we could know if we all had the uh, spoiler log out open because we are allowed to check it as well. But uh, well, I actually true. don't. I actually don't have it open myself. Yeah, uh, and I guess uh, for us, it's gonna take some time to to know this. Uh, I would do want to shout out our tracker Stags Twenty Eight that is keeping us uh, under control here, so uh, we know where the progression items are and uh, making them light up on our beautiful tracker down there. We're gonna get to see the dams from Obscure here. Wow, nice uh, <laughs> safety. Blue mail. Making that fish green. Heading over to Agina's cave. What do you think, Moonpal? I mean, if you go this way around, uh, there's going to be some kind of big progression item right here. So, uh, could be Moonpal, could be Glove, uh, it could be pretty much anything. Uh, we're going to use our last bomb here for Obscure, though. Glove. Now that that one is kind of important. Just a tiny bit important. Yeah, with that we can can get up to to Hera if you would want to. Pretty interesting from obscure side that I mean he can just go and buy bombs down here, but since he had a glove, he could have just pulled up, try and get that 50-50 bomb drop under the under the rock from uh, Link's house. Yeah, absolutely, but. Yeah, also nice to, to have that full bomb, uh, because you don't know where you get the bombs. Uh, I'm guessing the pilots are not checking for that too much. Yeah, you try to delete all the uh, out-of-the-way items that you don't want to pick up. Mm -hmm. Well, there's red mail, so, and moon pearl, so we already got oh, dark wow. relaxes. And uh, talking about out-of-the-way safeties, 
with that red mail, I would say that these runners will be pretty free when it comes to taking damage. I mean, yeah. still down to three hearts, but red mail will protect you a lot. Yeah, that will help, of course. Uh, really nice of that red mail. Uh, but... I mean, going into cold stir with four hearts and green mail, it could be notorious to like have a one-hit KO on, on those pups. Uh, the the pups is uh, they they are not fun. Uh, the sad part here for Andy, if there's something in hype key, is that he cannot get the the items because he doesn't have bombs or rupees. Yeah, and he saves and quit there to to do something else. Where did the Obscure get the, the Rupees? I actually have no idea. Yeah, because... Me... Chicken Hut? No, that was Lost the... Uh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Got some nice info there from chat. And we see Andy is gonna perhaps go pick that up, no? Mountain play? Andy. And Fire Rod. The Fire Rod is yeah, pretty nice to have early on. Um, as long as you find a sword as well, then you can start clearing out dungeons. They did pick up that small key for... Skull Woods, will make, which will make it a lot easier to uh, uh, go to Maltila, or just route the dungeon yeah, in itself. So we got something in Bonk Rocks, uh, not in Bonk Rocks, in Spectacle Rocks, so let's see what we got in here. And we got some uh, <laughs> nice info here from chat, and it has his uh, alert on. <laughs> Yeah, that that can happen sometimes, but it that that will just bring it a little bit more uh, fun to the game, right? Yeah, of course. And we get the first sword there as well, so perhaps now we're gonna see uh, obscure going into the dark world. Yeah, picking up that sword is very nice. Uh, having a sword in general is just better than not having it, and since we do have to, based on our tracker which is getting updated uh, about which are what the pendant dungeons are and all that stuff we do have to kill Mothila so we do need that sword yeah and also uh, we, because we don't have the lamp uh, it's of course really nice to have that sword to, to get a little bit easier way through the dark rooms there's even more rupees over on half magic and wow, <laughs> and, uh, that's a pretty stacked uh, Sarashala's closet right there. Already red mail and half magic. What is this game? <laughs> Looks like we're going to travel into Eastern Palace, maybe? Or this could be that you're just walking down to uh, Palace of Darkness area. And uh, I think this is actually yeah. Eastern Palace. Yeah, and Andy is saving quitting to uh, Sank, so we have a lot of Divergent early on here. And this is the, what I actually really love with this game mode. Uh, the Divergency, the way you route in the items you want as fast as possible. So, for example, there's something here in Eastern Palace that Noble Foxes wants to have. Uh, together with the uh, half magic for Andy, it's more like I can take down Mothila with four hearts and uh, fire sword and hammer. Yeah, well, with that hammer, the fight is going to be much easier, so I think uh, uh, Andy hey, is going to have no problem with that. There is a master sword that uh, Obscure Lifeform wanted to have before going to uh, Mothila. Yeah, it can make some of the fight, uh, boss fights a bit quicker. Uh, but actually, I think that's the sword he wanted to go into Aga. Yeah, so there is something here that we want to really have, and it will be in the second chest based on the uh, small key they picked up. In oh, Chandra. right, yeah. 
And uh, just to inform, that just is not in logic. Uh, even with the fire rod, because there's no torches in, to light up in a in dark room. Uh, but that will not... Our runners here won't care about that. Oh, and the flippers. <laughs> Pinball, that's, that's, one, that's, one, that's one way to get through the pinballs. There's yeah. a small key to Desert Palace in Skullwoods together with the uh, flippers, so I would assume, since they picked up that small key, that there's something in in the right side of Desert Palace. And nice to use the fire rod in this room. It could be a bit hard uh, if you don't have. Oh, there's the bow. Yeah, uh, that bow is in a very awkward place. Um, it really is, yeah. I mean, you see, it, it's not that hard to get over there, but it's still like ugh, I need to go into Aya Tower, and it's just a pain. Yeah, we are doing escape as well here. I kind of like the way Park Trio is playing this one. They're just we're just going to ignore everything for now and route it in later because it's not that hard to get all the uh, items uh, obscure mm -hmm. god so far. But they're just going to dip the uh, dungeons, clear them out as fast as possible, which I actually like a lot. Yeah, I'm also wondering if uh, if they are searching for another bow uh, that could be in Ludic somewhere. It could be like that as well, but they did pick up that castle tower small key, so it could be that they just want to route, in, route it in later on with like going to Pyramid. Yeah. And there's the big key to Desert. Interesting locations of all the keys we have picked up so far. Uh, we are seeing Hammer Strat from Andy here. You only need four hits with the hammer, so yeah. as long as the uh, spikes doesn't. Uh... There you go. <laughs> the, the worst part is like if he Mothula jumps right into the spikes. That's the uh, worst part. Yeah, and the longer they go, the more spikes that's gonna came, and the more laggy. Uh, so it could be a bit harder if it, if you miss some shots uh, in the beginning. I would say that was a pretty clean fight with, with the hammers. So uh, first crystal down, and uh, and takes the crystal lead. Yeah, I think uh, I think and have uh, done that fight before. I I would have seen <laughs> that at least. <laughs> so this is when Andy will pick up the stuff that uh, Obscure picked up earlier. The big key, the ha uh, the um, what was it? The bow as well. So it's. Uh, Those... Andals, this, does they only have the fighter sword? Yeah, but I think they're gonna route that sword in whenever they go to Palace of Darkness later on, so... It's not that hard to get that sword in the Eastern. Yeah, but I mean, they can't get the bow without the sword. Oh, right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that part. But they are getting that desert big. So uh, Obscure, uh, Obscure is going to uh, get that small key, which he grabbed for Desert Palace. He's going straight for uh, Mathula. And uh, he will probably just jump down and uh, save and quit with the flippers later on. Yeah, something funny about this as well is that we only have... Yeah, that was like one heart for Obscure, uh, so now he's on four. Uh, but Andy is a whole six hearts. And I think that's gonna be more than enough for this seed with that red mail and red uh, and half magic. Yeah, I feel like Andy have done a few low percent before in the past, so I think he's more than comfortable with the uh, hard con uh, hearts and uh, the mail upgrades he got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and something interesting that uh, Shat are talking about is that they are actually doing Skull Woods first and. Maybe heading over to Desert uh, to clear out the, the two uh, dungeons to get them to uh, Pyramid Ferry. So we could have something yeah. really important there. 
the only the only sad part right now is that we need a book to be able to go into desert at this point. Uh, or medicine. Myths and the flutes, but uh, what do you think? Uh, book here in Hype Cave, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you're kind of spot on right there. So maybe there's something a pyramid fair now since yeah. we got all the tools to actually grab the big one. Can I guess boats? I don't think you're allowed to. Guess I guess <laughs> Shaft will call you a witch soon and want to burn you. Like Obscure is burning down this mafia right now. Yeah, we are seeing two different strats here, uh, and with that half magic, that fight uh, went really smoothly. So this is what I mean with uh, spoilers playing their part, uh, the pilots. I don't really know which team that's doing the best routing so far, but I, it's it's. If anybody asks who's leading, it's too hard to tell. Yeah, it's really hard this early on. You can only say, like, you can only tell who's leading depending on who's going into GT first, but then again, you never know what happens in GT. Yeah, that's true too. But, uh, yeah, with uh, Half Magic and Red Mail, that is really nice to have. <laughs> Let's see if we have something nice on this. Uh, we're not gonna pick up that chest at least, so uh, something is in the vanilla big key chest. Hey, it's the flute. Yeah, so probably the Meyer area should have something. I would say that it's possible that it uh, got something there since uh, we're picking up the flute. I don't think we would pick it up. I mean, you could pick it up for traveling. Uh, travel faster around the world. Yeah, I guess that could save some time here and there. Less reason to, uh, what is it called now, saving quit. If you have a flute, you can just mirror out the flute wherever you want to. Yeah, that, that is of course really nice. Only book in Hype Cave. And that's the, uh, I think for many people that maybe are new to watching randomizers and they just watch our, well, maybe not new to randomizers, but be like, why are they not opening up the chests in Hype Cave, the other ones? It's because we don't actually need to do that this time around because the pilots, Futon and Nobly, that are guiding Obscure Nanny, they will actually tell these guys that, nope, do not go in there. Uh, there is nothing you need and well, for Andy's part, it was like he had no bombs earlier as well. Yeah, without that 300 uh, uh, in the drop down in the, the woods, uh, he didn't have the money to buy bombs. And resources uh, is usually a problem here in, in Pilot as well, so it's really important to, to have that in mind. Gonna get a fire rod fight here from Andy. Shouldn't be any issues at all. And it's wow. one beautiful fight against Lamolas. And there's another sword. So that's the sword, yeah. Maybe it wasn't that. I mean, it's always nice to pick up that sword in Easter and get your bow early. You don't need to go back to to the castle. Uh, you you get that half magic. You're playing a little bit more safe with the magic resources. Mm -hmm. But you could have skipped that sword for a while longer if you want to. Yeah. I would say with that sword in Eastern Palace, uh, there is no way Andy will skip that sword. Unless there is another sword along the way. Then I could see uh, Andy skip the sword in Eastern Palace. Yeah. Yeah, some clever, uh, interesting uh, uh, things that Shat are bringing up here is that Andy is, will probably do Pyramid Fair together with uh, that uh, another check in uh, to get that bow uh, at Aga. Yeah, and that's the uh, beautiful part of this uh, 
this race, I would say, this week, just to see the different ways to route, route uh, in swords, bows, and everything, like the progression items, because there are so many ways you can do it. You can do it like the Noble and Obscure is doing right now, and Futa and Andy. Uh, hmm. Do the way that works out the best for these runners. Oh, but it's it, actually not doing it. So, I would say that Pyramid Fair is nothing, since they're, not, uh, since they're ignoring uh, the big bomb. Yeah, it could probably be that, yeah. It's funny to see that they both did the first two <laughs> red crystal dungeons. gets his second crystal. And so there, even with the uh, with the amount of crystals, the uh, progression is except one thing. Uh, Obscure got a better sword right now, but it's not a big deal breaker right now. Yeah. Yeah, well, like we said, uh, it could be that Andy chooses not to go into Eastern Palace. It's a, a pendant onion, so uh, it's depending on if it has something more in there that is going to be interesting. I think it also just comes down to one thing. Uh, where's the other sword? Because we've seen three swords now. Uh, mm -hmm. So where's the fourth one? Uh, is it easier to get that one? Because I don't. if you can get a tempered sword, I don't think you say no to that. It's a uh, speeds up Ganon and Trinex fights and all that. Yeah. Let me see a Hobo player, so let's see what Ho Hobo have. Hobo gives us a small key to Hutter. Of course, it's oh. Pod. That's actually the first uh, small key we pick up for a Pod, so uh, we do have the big key. Uh, and we do have this one small key, but I don't think you just go straight for uh, uh, Helmet Star at this point, unless there's nothing in there. Mm -hmm. And is this our first check in to me the Molden Key? Uh, this is the first uh, check in here. Uh, I don't think Andy checked this at all. Uh, and we're getting our first check in to uh, Waterfall Fair as well. Which has a small key to pod and oh, a small key to <laughs> GT. There's a small key to Min Min Moron Cave that goes to pod as well. So uh, we're starting to find those Palace of Darkness uh, small keys. Yeah, we have three. Uh, so I'm guessing that could be enough because Andy is going there, but he only have two of them. Uh... But guess what? Uh, Obscure is going the same way, and he only has one small key, so based Whoa. on the fact that I don't <laughs> think there's a lot of items to be found in Pod. Yeah, with that one key, uh, I'm guessing it could be a one more in there, or he's going full right. This is where uh, this is nice routing for Andy and Futon right now, they will pick up their half magic. And that's Tempered Sword, because there's no way you're saying no to that one. Because if you just go and beat Helmet Sword in this area right now, there's you're not going back. Uh, you're not going back to this area, unless there's something on, like uh, the boss of Eastern Palace, Armist Knights. Yeah, that's true. And it's funny to see that the, the runners are like head-to-head uh, -head here now. Um, obscure a little bit uh, in the front, and also with that sword. Give him a, a bit of a bunch of vultures here, of course. And uh, since Obscure is going uh, full right side here in Pod, not open the middle door, I would assume there's nothing in this dungeon. Just you just want that crystal, perhaps a sword. I mean, it could be. Could be. They can, of course. He can, of course, go around and. Oh, and he's going in for that sword. I 
And like I said, it, the, the sword is right here in this area. If there's nothing on uh, Armus Knights, there's nothing you need in this area. Uh, you will never come back for anything. Uh, you will grab a crystal and you're done. Yeah. And we see uh, Obscure is going around here actually. I think he's going to set up uh, the bomb jump here to jump across to the uh, bridge chest here. Oh wow, i never seen that before. <laughs> Because there is a small key to small palace, which Whoa. is required. So I assume that Andy just grabbed that second uh, key to this dungeon just to be able to route this one a little bit faster. You don't need to go the uh, slow side of right side. Yeah, he almost caught up now. Uh, so this is really even. So doing that, it uh, just... Uh, Hobo into uh, getting that key in the yeah, waterfall is actually, I think that is, like you said, he gained a lot of time obscure mm -hmm. from uh, being, being able. So I think that was actually better in the end. Yeah, we can see that here. Yeah, it's almost caught up now. So we have a race, people. So Basin is picking up a small key to uh, Swamp, which is 100% required, uh, and just going straight for Hellman. I would say there's something left in here, and you're done with this area. So it's going to be fun to see where they find their next progression, actually. Yeah, uh, mitts and boots are something we really want. But they, we haven't got the boots yet, so I'm guessing that's going to be behind uh... The mitts? I mean, it, it, boots might not be required at all this city. It could be that they're in could GT somewhere, yeah, so... that's correct, yeah. But I'm guessing it could be some nice um, uh, required item here on uh, Helma. Or just nice routing to get that Swamp Key to get into the Swamp Palace. Yeah, that Swamp Palace uh, small key is kind of important. <laughs> yeah. But I'm actually interested in, like, they don't have that much open. Uh, I mean, they skip uh, Paradox Cave and all that stuff. There's actually a small key to Turbo Rock, the first one. Yeah, uh, at least three. Uh, since they skipped out on Paradox Cave when they were up on the mountain the first time, I would say that there's probably nothing there on that uh, side of the mountain, at least not in, in the light world. So I, I'm a little bit curious about that swamp palace small key they picked up here. They, it could be that there is a progression in the swamp without hook shot. Mm -hmm. By the looks of it, it's gonna be a swamp play here. Do you want to take a guess? This is are we gonna get <laughs> mids or hook shot in here? Ah, mates. So they have the double dip uh, Swamp Palace, I think. <laughs> it's always mates in uh, Swamp. I mean, if it's the hook shot in there, it's just me. <laughs> And no, none of runners has been into Thieves Town yet. Uh, maybe it's nothing there, or maybe they just want that big key uh, to get into the back. I think it's. I just like love how to see how close these two runners are at this point because I think and that that is just a good sign that both of these runners like they have such a good like they their pilots are so good. Yeah, they're play playing this uh, really well. So there's nothing in the first chest of Swamp Palace. Yeah. We're going to bomb the wall, so... What do we have behind the wall? Mitts? What's shots? behind door number one? It's the mates! <laughs> and getting out. <laughs> Well, that was kind of uh, expected, I guess. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> and now Meyer. Guessing Andy is gonna follow him in there. No, he goes to Ice Palace. Oh, I like the divergence here, right here. Uh, there's uh, with the mirror out here. There is most likely something Myers that I was gonna say probably a uh, checkerboard cave, but uh, we can do Myers shed first. And there's the okay. magic keep. We haven't seen a bumper lunch. Uh, quite yet, and uh, not spike cave, so picking up that cave is actually pretty nice since we're running low on health. Oh, that's the only thing he wanted to get. Uh, yeah, Meyer is a pendant, so I guess maybe nothing is in there. But we can't get in, I, uh, I just realized we don't have the boots or hookshot. Yeah, and I don't know if we actually had the right medallion because I never saw what's on the uh, medallion list. And there's the ice rod. So no ice rod hunt in that way, that it just was pretty free, uh, the ice rod. <laughs> yeah, and that's the best part with a uh, spoiler pilot as this way, you don't have to go and check for it, search for that ice rod. I mean, it's kind of fitting that the ice rod is in Ice Palace as well. Uh, yeah. Kind of, it's like in its natural place. Yeah, it's not gonna be in the uh, ice, ice Rod Cave, <laughs> it could be in Ice Palace. So I wonder if uh, the cape we picked up was more of a safety for uh, us here, or if there's something above our ledge. Um, hard to know, but it'd be a nice safety to have as well. I feel like it, it's so fun to just watch these two runners. Uh, we're 35 minutes in soon, and we're working on our fourth crystal dungeon in a key assembly. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a delight. <laughs> yeah, and there's <laughs> hook shots behind the meat. <laughs> Guess well, we're going back to Swamp Palace. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like this is just go straight back to Swamp Palace as fast as possible. Oh, he forgot the small key. Obscure. But that, that's the thing about spoiler. Uh, it would be pretty hard to just like know where to go. Uh, as fast as possible if you didn't have a spoiler log to go through. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely see lots of different scenarios when you pick up those mids. Uh, you could maybe do smith chain instead or, or something like that. If you don't know where the hookshot is. Yeah, of course. But with the red cane and fire rod and everything, it's really nice just to, uh, to clear out eyes. Oh yeah, definitely. It's more like, are you comfortable with only have a few hearts uh, on Cold Stair? Because I mean, even if you have like red mail, it's not a fun fight if you end up getting ice blocks on you or taking a hug from Cold Stair. Yeah, it got a bit of a ha out of hand there at the beginning, but it was no problem for Andy. Oh, a much cleaner fight from Obscure there. Uh, this is very even between these two right now. It, it It is just enjoyable to watch. So we do need uh, GT Big Key. We need GT uh, Turtle Rock Big Key. And uh, at least two more small keys for that dungeon to be able to clear it. Yeah. And I would say that's pretty much go mode. Uh, we don't need much else than that, uh, unless we have, like, if we have the uh, right medallion for Turtle Rock, of course. Yeah, I know that Obscure has the, the Quake medallion, maybe that's the thing, but I don't know where that is and why Amd haven't picked it up. I, don't, I think he picked it up, maybe it's not right, because that it's in Sarashala's closet where we got the oh. uh, half magic as well. Yes, I'm guessing that's not the, the, the thing that you have to use. Uh, 
it's easy to when when you have a lot of chests nearby, it's easy just to pick one up, extra up. And a funny thing also uh, is that the runners can see what the other team are doing. Uh, well, I mean the, the pilots. Uh, so they can give the information to to like skip stuff and try to be faster if they are a, a bit uh, after the other team. So it could be a bit interesting to see how, how the runners and pilots are handling with that. And what do you think, Nilsson? What do we get in Swamp Palace? This is something more here or just a crystal? Mm, I think it's just a crystal at this point. Hmm. Maybe. I, I, I not as... I mean, we're going straight for the back, so I would say it's just a crystal. Maybe. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Boots? <laughs> no, I, I think the boots are actually GT just because I know both of these two runners want boots as early as possible because these two runners loves to hover, so... Uh... Yeah. Ooh, and next to heart there for Andy, on the fourth uh, quarter heart. Yeah, I think that's one of the uh, uh, things that they did correctly in the beginning. I know that they opened up the Sanct chest, mm -hmm. uh, Obscure did not, so... It's, uh, it's actually... I mean, if it's that free in the beginning to get like hard pieces, you definitely pick them up. Yeah, but you have to keep track and get four extra chests. And I know the pilots already have a lot of uh, things that they have to to think about. So I, I know a lot of runners just like to skip that for some pilots. Yeah, I, that, that's one thing I know about Obscure and Oakley. I know Obscure wants. A few more hearts than he normally would have, uh, and uh, nobly doesn't like to give him more hearts, so <laughs> that's one thing that we know about the, those two runners. Yeah, and a really nice fight there from Andy's side, uh, and get rewarded with that bug net that I don't think we're gonna see be used today. Perhaps Are you sure? Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe he's using it on Agnum <laughs> later on, you know? Yeah, just to swag a little, why not? I mean, you picked it up, you, you better use it, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're going back to the... Uh, I guess it's a swimming lesson uh, for uh, the pug here. Uh, I guess we're having some kind of item. Minimal, or no? I uh, mean, Minimal Cave only had a one. Uh, I think we're going to do like this, actually. We're going to swim over to the portal here and just fast travel. Wow. So Catfish has something? Uh, it could be catfish, it could be gravel ledge, it could be mm -hmm. anything at this point. Well, that is true. Now uh, is that hookshot we can get over and he grabbing hookshot? Uh, it's catfish, alright. There is definitely something on catfish. And both runners now have five crystals, so we just need to beat uh, Tower Hera and Turtle Rock on the mountain. Yeah, we need those small keys for Turtle Rock and that big key. We do know that, I mean, technically we do need the big key for uh, Tower of Hera, but with Hera Pot we don't actually need it these days. We, also, we do need that GT big key. Yeah. And nice to see it from Obscure using the same strat as Andy to fast travel to uh, Catfish. And that is Ether Medallion, so based on that, pick, picking up that one, and I think that's the first medallion actually from Andy's side. Uh, that is the one we need for Turtle Rock. Yeah, and that's almost a vanilla location. <laughs> Just the wrong medallion there. And now uh, Andy is going for that cape. Yeah, so with that cape in mind, it, there's only like two locations where you actually need a cape. And it's uh, either Bumber Ledge or Spike Cave. And with that, uh, both runners are ahead again. 
head to head. Yeah, they're they're even now. There's uh Oh we're going we're going straight up here, so uh, with that cape pickup, I think there's something in spy cave. Yeah, we need two small keys and two big keys uh, for us to be in go mode here. I'm also wondering if it's gonna pick up uh, the silvers. I do know where the silvers are. I took a peek earlier, but uh, I, I actually don't think we will see the silver arrows today. Oh, really? Where are they? <laughs> I, I don't know if chat wants to know where the uh, bow is. The second one. I'll let them decide. Big key, touch rock. So that pinter rock big key is interesting. Uh, we we do need that one, but uh, where's the small keys? We need two small keys. Mm -hmm. So you've been guessing pretty much everything correctly here, Fox. Uh, where do you think the small keys are? Well, of course, one is gonna be in Paradox and one in Touch Rock. <laughs> if you, I, I, I swear to God, if, if you're if you're correct here, I, I, I don't know what I don't know what to do with you. I think we need a team talk later on. Going into Paradox. So G2 big or Turtle Rock small is gonna be here then. Got a More free potion. Potion. And a big key to Gans Tower. Ooh, I guessed wrong. Well, okay, so we got everything now except those yeah. two small keys. Imagine ending up in t two turret rock small keys for go mode. Yeah. <laughs> There's one small key. Yeah, that could be one of them. And it is Ether Medallion for Turtle Rock. So that quick pickup the Noble Foxes did earlier that Andy skipped out on is kind of interesting. I don't know if they only picked it up because they didn't know what was a pendant or not at that time. Or they thought they would have to dip Meyer earlier. So, yeah, it could be that, yeah. But we're dipping right into Turtle Rock. Do we have two small keys for Turtle Rock inside Turtle Rock? Wow, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Uh, it definitely looked like it uh, looked that way because it would otherwise not gone gone in here. I mean, if this is just going to end up with like uh, getting two small keys in here for this dungeon, uh, um, <laughs> oh, well, there's one of course. Uh, I would say this is a very nice seed because there there will be a in go mode up here. And just can just take care of Hera with a hair pot, and then you yep. just do your climb. So uh, it's gonna be a really nice uh, finishing time here. Yeah, this is going to be a very close time. I like this is going to be very close. It's it's execution time, and uh, with Andy yeah. in the lead so far, it, it's looking pretty good for uh, Pug Trio. Nice uh, cape strat there from Obscure, only with the two and a half heart. You have that red potion uh, if he's gonna take some more hits. Just to be safe. Oh. Mimic or big chest? 
Well, with that key small key pickup, we're officially in go mode. Yeah. At 46 minutes and 35, 4 seconds. <laughs> Alright, this is... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Uh, two small keys for Turok -rock, inside Turok, -rock, that is just uh, amazing. Yeah, uh, no lamp. Ooh, and I have to be a bit careful here. Using that red potion. That uh, lamp you just mentioned, uh, that one we will never find. And we would probably not need it because these two runners yeah. are just that good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a funny location though, for the lamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's... Uh, you need an extra progression item to unlock it. So. <laughs> oh, really? Slider, taking on Trinex. It's actually nice to get that uh, spike hit in on you. you. You get rid of the uh, stupid uh, sword beams. You don't want sword beams on uh, Trinex. Yeah. Wow, nice uh, last last uh, ending there on on Trinex. So just need to take care of uh, Hera before we go into uh, to Ganon's Tower then. So, since we're uh, almost going to be like in GT Tower, I, I guess since we will never see the lamp, and the lamp is actually on Ether Tablet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, that's that's one thing that you would never see in a seed. Nope. Well, they ha didn't have to do too much dark rooms, so. But I, I remember when I started playing uh, Zelda, and I saw all these runners uh, playing uh, and doing the dark rooms. I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna learn that. Uh, but when you play a lot, a lot of seeds, uh, eventually uh, you get a hold of it, uh, and it's really fun when you do. Seeing uh, Hera out here, nice setup. Immediately getting it. I didn't expect anything else from uh, Andy. Let's see yeah. what uh, Obscure does. Yeah, that was quick. I would say that Andy going into a GT has a pretty solid lead, but mm. however, anything can happen in Rando. So uh, we will see what these two runners does. Because they want it. I don't think you're looking for. I mean, if Boots is in GT, you will not look for them, right? I mean, yeah, I, well, I guess it depends on. Are, so. Yeah, I guess it depends on where. In wow. GT they are, so. I see Obscure doing the Philip pot. Yeah, and gets it immediately as well. So uh, won't be that far behind. Yeah, and we have Andy at 50, uh, 50 minutes and 30 seconds opening up the GT. Let's see how long after Obscure is going to go in there and what head start Andy has into GT. And this is uh, one of the weeks where we won't play the uh, GT guessing game since we already have the uh, big key for the dungeon. Yep. <laughs> we have that in Paradox and we're not checking any on the sites, I'm guessing, uh, Silvers and... Uh, uh, boots are not gonna be nearby. I mean, do you really want to know where the boots are? I can tell you. 
<laughs> Tell me! <laughs> Do chat want to know where the boots are? Oh well, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, they want to know. <laughs> well, I mean, boots are actually in GT. They're in randomized room. So, oh, uh, you were right all the time. It could be that I guessed. Like, I, I checked it earlier, so. Mm -hmm. Whoa, and we see Obscure going left. Is he getting... Oh, small key. All right. We need a small key for the time. <laughs> wait, where did Andy pick up his small kit against ours? Oh yeah, in Waterfall Fairy. Waterfall Fairy. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, and uh, this is a. Uh, that's not a good. I mean, that's an even better routing decision from uh, Andy and Futon as well, picking up those uh, small keys for Pod. Mm -hmm. Picking up that uh, GT small keys also. Uh, Showing off that that's pretty huge. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, the pilots are telling the runners if they're ahead or not. I mean, if you know you're ahead uh, like a minute or so, uh, you can get really stressed out uh, because it's uh, really scary to, to just feel that someone is breathing down your neck here. Would you want to know where your opponent is, Fox, if you were running? Well, I tried it and uh, I, I don't like it because <laughs> I get really stressed when I know I'm, I'm, uh, someone is hunting me. <laughs> so, yeah, but these runners, uh, I guess, are, are more experienced and I uh, guess uh, have a good uh, uh, understanding about their nerves, so... Shouldn't be a too much of an issue. Okay, so the silver arrows that we will never find is actually on the flute spot. And where is the... <laughs> where uh, is the shovel? <laughs> the shovel is actually in Spike's chest of Misery Mine. Oh... So that's... Uh... That's one thing we would never pick up. Yeah. That would take a long time, I guess. And Andy has just had a really good climb here, so uh, I think he's just... I mean, if Molum here wants to cooperate with Andy, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think Andy's almost... just extending the lead here. But, I mean, everything can happen here on Ganon fights. Like, it's sure you got red mail, you got tempered sword, cape, uh, cape, and all that. But I mean, yeah, anything can happen. So uh, you should never, you can never really rule out anything in randomizers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, almost got the triple there. And that last ball just disappeared. A nice Aiga fight from Andy right there, and uh, only got the, the big pig left, so should be able to do it pretty fast, And but we, we, we will wait and see what happens. I'm still having a little bit easier time with uh, Mobile Mayor. Yep. Getting some time on that fight. So at 56 minutes we have our Ganon, first Ganon fight. 
guessing, of course, it's gonna be a minute and a half after. Getting that one cycle here on uh, Ganon. From Andy's side, this is. Uh, it's, it's hard to beat Andy when it comes down to execution. Yeah. But uh, Obscure have done it I'm very. Like, Obscure can't be uh, mad about anything. He's been playing the seat really good as well. Oh, a nice triple there from Obscure. Well, getting some time also on the Aga fight. And the, there's that light arrows hint for, from Ganon, and that was, of course, the dig spot. Well, food spot, but. That shovel was never being able to be. Like, nobody was going to go for silvers with uh, the placement yeah. of the shovel in Mr. Meyer. Mm -hmm. This cure is about 1 minute and 15 seconds behind. There we go. Andy takes down Ganon and brings uh, a win victory to the table of Park Trio. Uh, unfortunately, that means the first loss for Noble Foxes in uh, the league so far this season. Uh, but uh, we do have one more race coming up here. So get your GGs in chat for Andy. Uh, we will not have a interview of this one since we have the back to back features. Yeah. But this was a really nice fight to to see here. Uh, what is coming up next right after this one is the same teams, uh, but uh, different runners. Uh, it will be Solski together with Futon, so Futon will stay, and Obscure and Nobly will just uh, switch places. So Nobly will be the runner for Noble Foxes. And, uh, Obscure life form will be the uh, pilot. We do actually have Andy and Futon here, so we might have a real fast uh, squeeze in here. Hello, Andy. GG's. Hello. GG's. G. And there's Futon as well. GG's Futon. So we have Obscure uh, finishing off uh, Scan on here, uh, just a minute and a half uh, behind Andy. So get the GG's into chat for Obscure, Lifeform and Nobly. So uh, Andy and Futon, how did you guys enjoy uh, routing this season? It was pretty fun. Um, less fun when one of the first things out of Futon's mouth was, we're not getting the boots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it was pretty interesting. Um, the sea would have sucked without a pilot, uh, having to go into swamp for the mitts to get a hook shot in, in ice, and then two turtle rock smalls in turtle rock is never anything you want to see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, when you went into turtle rock, I was like, is there actually going to be two small keys turtle rock in turtle rock? I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was maybe like our first spoiler keys where Turtle Rock small keys weren't like the bane of our existence because it was Helmosaur and then just in Turtle Rock and that's all we needed. So it was really nice uh, with a pilot. How um, did it feel for you, Futon, from your side? Uh, it was a, like a lot of the times for these I get a little bit overwhelmed early and I get a little bit panicked on where I'm trying to send Andy with this one was a bit kinder in that it did give too many options and there was just enough time with enough side stuff that I could figure it out kind of well. Uh, I got a bit lucky with how much was just waiting for us to do in uh, Kakariko because it was like you go into Kakariko to get another thing to do in Kakariko. So it's like, okay, good. Bog down Andy while I look for things. <laughs> so it worked out quite nice, actually. I was quite happy with this one. Not many keys to look for. I think the uh, biggest point uh, where you guys gained a lot of time was the way you guys picked up the pod small keys uh, from Hobo and Waterfall Fairy. Uh, having that GT small key as well going into GT was kind of huge in the end. 
Yeah, we were figuring out which two. Like, obviously, you want two when you don't have to do anything in pod, ideally. And so you're like, okay, uh, there's one in Waterfall with the GT small, so that's good. And then the other, one, another one's in Mini Moldorm. And I'm like, okay, Mini Moldorm sucks. Is there another one? Um, and then, uh, and then Futon's like, oh yeah, Hobo. I was like, perfect. <laughs> uh, the only, I um, I wasn't. I don't know. There's. There's a point, like, kind of early, like, post-Pearl. I think right after the Pearl, I wasn't entirely sure what my next goal was, so I went to go get the book from Hype Cave. <laughs> yeah, and you did And then I didn't have any it. bombs. And I'm like, well, that sucks. Uh, so I'm going to Skull Woods, because uh, there's something in there. And then <laughs> and then on the way, Futon's like, hey, grab that Fire Rod from Uncle that I didn't know about yet. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't kill the boss anyways. He's like, uh, there's a sword in Spec Cave, and so I had to, like, leave Kakariko. <laughs> um, but other than that, those two, like, mistakes really early on, the rest of the seed felt really, really smooth uh, from both sides. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the way you guys routed out the Nan, because there was, like, some, like, you guys had to go back up to and get that bow. Uh, I think there was, like, a third trip up, because we went to Uncle first time. So I was like, oh, when are they going to pick up that? Uh, yeah, the the early is always tough because like it's not like there's a planning period, so it's always like open Link's house for ninety nine percent garbage, and then go check the tree pole, hope it's bombs or money, and then by then like Futon will usually tell me what Uncle in the Uncle chest has, and then the Uncle had bombs. So I'm like, okay, this is good. Uh. I could go get Desert Big now and use all of my bombs and then have nothing going into Kakariko, and that sounds like a bad idea. So we just I just decided to leave it for later. Um, so, like, I guess I, you know, at that point we didn't know that... Uh, I guess we needed Chicken Hut. That was the one thing we needed a bomb for. Um, so if we had found another bomb somewhere, like... You know, it would have been fine to go get that desert big early, but we just didn't know yet. I guess that's the fun part with uh, this game mode as well. And uh, we are joined by Obscure as well. GG's Obscure. GG. Uh, GG's, guys. Well played, Andy. GG's Futon. GG. So, uh, Obscure, how, did you enjoy the scene? I never enjoy spoilers. <laughs> I find them very <laughs> stressful. <laughs> uh, sorry, Futon. I know it's one of your favorites. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we we played really well. Like, um, we it did feel like quite a smooth seed. Um, no, nobody's. I, I mean, I love uh, racing with nobody anyway. Like, he's very creative. Uh, spoiler, so he'll he'll come out with things that no one will think of. So, um, but yeah, um, I don't think we had any real problems that seed. Like, everything felt quite smooth. Execution was all right. Routing was great. Like just just small small things, mostly probably down to nerves, and probably cost us a little bit of time here and there. And yes, this could have been better. Like looking back retrospectively, but in the time of the moment when you're trying to figure out the spoiler and tell someone where to go and run the race and not die and all that stuff, it's uh, you do the best you can. So yeah, I feel like we we played a good race, and at the end of the day, the better team won. Yeah, it was very even between you guys up until yeah, pretty much turret rock at that point. Uh... That was like the deciding point, the way you guys have routed before. Uh, so Futon, obscure you, Futon, you're going to pilot Solski now. Uh, how does it feel to just have a short break here? Uh, I've never actually done any of this with Solski before, so it's gonna be pretty rough for us, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not too worried about having a break, but yeah, it's gonna be completely fresh. Andy and I have had like ten or so of these practice through a tournament and everything, so it's gonna be. A little bit different with the chemistry. Nice. And Obscure, how does it feel from going from runner to pilot now for the next one? Yeah, we've had some practice uh, both ways, so it, it should be fine. Um, it just comes down to the seed at the end of the day. Piloting these feels like a nightmare for the first 15 minutes. Like I've never <laughs> piloted one. Uh, and so, like, I always feel for Futon when I can, like, tell he's getting panicked and flustered early on. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll, like, try to do if something's in, like, Aga Tower. Or I'll, like, sequence break to Old Man because it's probably something we're going to have to do at some point anyways. Just to give him, like, some time to think early on and not 
me just like, all right, Futon, what's here? Okay, what about this? Do I need to get this? <laughs> uh, so I can't imagine. Shoutouts to the pilots for putting up with runners. Yeah, I'm going to say shoutouts to uh, all of you. Uh, I know you guys are going to get prepared to set up uh, the next one. Futon, uh, Obscure, Solsky, and Nobly. Uh, GG's to Andy and Futon for taking home the first race. And uh, GG's to Obscure Nobly. And uh, I think we're going to wrap this up pretty fast here now. So uh, Good. GG's. Thanks for coming. Are you guys coming the next race too? We are not. So I'm pretty happy with that because it gets pretty <laughs> hectic for time to time <laughs> watching these. So uh, uh, yeah. Uh, enjoy the next one, the next race between these two teams uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, Shout out to Stags, our tracker, and um, Fox, Swedish Arctic Fox, and myself. And um, yeah, the Fox, bring out, bring it home. Bring it home. Yeah, it was an awesome race. And just stay up for the next one. This is going to be epic. Thank you, Nilsson Alex, for this. Uh, this was a real blast. Uh, see you guys.